Before we get into the video, make sure y'all like, subscribe if you're new. I mean, come on, what are you doing? If you're not sub to me by now, my content is fire for clips from his news videos, stem motions, tour reviews, tour photography breakdowns, music occasionally. My Instagram is linked down below. And yeah, let's get straight to it. Okay, so as you can tell by the title of this video, I will be comparing Animated Deluxe Class Lockdown to Revenge of the Fallen slash Chug Lockdown Deluxe Class on the right here. And just going around the motions, um, talking about which feature on each one is better. Articulation, head, weapons, details, posing, design, vehicle mode, stuff like that. So... Let's start off with the head sculpt. All right. So the light piping right off the bat on the Chug one is very nice. And I'm calling this one Chug because he did appear in the G1 IDW comics in this look. And I can't remember if there was any other media, but definitely in the IDW comics he appeared in that look. Um, but the light piping is dope. But I think I'm going to have to go with the simplicity in the more cartoony version of this one. Like, I don't know, the long neck is cool and all, but, um, and then this more slender head proportions, and, but I just love the spikes on his neck and, like, the tattoo type design all along his chin there and then on the top of his forehead, uh, but, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to go with animated on the head design here. Now, for the details, first up, let's look at the animated one. The details are nice and all, um... The asymmetry is nice on the lower legs here. There's some nice paint apps all along. The sculpted work is nice and simple and clean and sleek like animated should be. And in the back, got the Decepticon logo and stuff like that. So it's cool. I, I, I can dig it. I mean, he does have the birther hips, which, I mean, that does look a bit weird. Focus camera. Come on, technology. Work with me. Oh my god, this... It's not that hard to focus in on his hips. There we go. Birther hips. Wee! He looks like he could get pregnant. But other than that, the details are very nice in the design. Might as well talk about design too. The claw arm. Uh, it's a little bit puny. It looks more like a meat hook as opposed to a claw that could kill 30 foot tall robots. The gun is cool though. I really like the way that forms the engine and the way it transforms. It looks very cool and menacing. Even though it's not really supposed to be a gun, it's EMP generator. But long story, animated lore, blah, blah, blah. All right. The Chug one. The d overall design and details. Uh, I got to give it to Rental Fallen here. There's a lot of sculpted detailing. When you move the hip, that moves this uh, inner gray piece, that Mecha Live gimmick that Revenge of the Fallen used to have. Just so much sculpted detail, which is what the movie line is known for. And Chug at the time, they were trying to sort of replicate that in their own way, which this guy can definitely fit in, obviously. And there's some nice paint, too. But definitely the sculpted detailing and the overall design, the lankiness of it, is cool but the animated one is a little bit thicker so details i'll give it to um the revenge of fallen one here but the overall design i think i said design at first would go to <laughs> yo i'm getting stuff mixed up okay blah, blah, blah. let me say this here the design i'm gonna have to go with animated the details overall revenge of the fallen now, the weapons I did talk about a tad with the animated one, but let's go fully in-depth with that. Let's start off with the Revenge of the Fallen. The claw arm, this looks way more menacing. It's got teeth on it. Uh, the one thing I don't like is that the rubbery plastic does not hold up well over time, a la Revenge of the Fallen bludgeon. And his arm, his hand is like that too, and it's actually starting to chip away at the tip of the finger, so ew. But his EMP generator is all right. It's a bit puny. I mean... It looks good on him, but the bigness and the size of the dual cannons on this one just looks a bit more cooler, in my opinion. So, in terms of weapons, uh, the gun, I would go with animated. The EMP generator, animated, definitely. But the claw, Revenge of the Fallen, all the way. So, 50-50 split on the accessories slash weapon part of things. Now for the articulation side of things, let's run through this a little quick here. 
The head has a little bit of wiggly waggly, not too much. You got some swivel, but it's on like a sort of weird angle at times, which I don't really like. And the arms move all the way around. They move out that much. You got outward motion on that hinge too. So you have a double outward hinge, which is cool. And these uh, shoulder pads can flip inward. You have a double jointed elbow, which is nice. And then you got rotation at the elbow. The hands can move inward. Notice how there's no circle jerk hands. Very nice. I love that. They did that a lot with animated and some older chug figures as well. I wish they would do that more often. They do it occasionally here and there, but if it was more often like how they used to do, it would be absolutely delicious. also. Now for the lower portion, waist swivel, legs move all the way up, all the way back. You got some thigh rotation at the upper part of the thigh. You have below 90 degree bend and it looks a bit ugly there. So man, but the feet move up a little bit and down a whole lot. So articulation on the animated one, it's doable. You could pull off some poses with him, but it's not too great. Uh, so the uh, articulation on the Revenge of the Fallen one, you got a nice double ball jointed head. Uh, it could definitely look up way more than the animated one if my camera would focus. There you go. And then you got all sorts of wiggly wagglies for expression. And then the head rotates at the base here. So very nice head articulation in my opinion. You got a double hinge at the shoulders on both sides. It can move all the way around. Though it can be a bit annoying because of the pieces on both sides. Um, and then you got a swivel at the elbow and less than 90 degrees on the claw arm, but you get, oop, and, the cl and then this arm pops off, bleh. But then you get 90 degrees of bend at, at this arm and you get an inward motion. And then you get another mech alive feature where you move the claw arm down and this piston joint moves with it, which is very cool. There's no waist swivel, but he does have some sort of ab crunch, like a lower ab joint, which is pretty nice. It would have been nice if he had waist too. That would have been revolutionary, but legs move up that much. Wait. Uh, yeah, it, it starts to bump into the thigh there at this point, uh, at that uh, point because of the details. Back, not too much. Swivel, and then you got double jointed knees that much, and then you have a rotation here. Rotation, uh, blah, blah, rotation right here. That was hard to show off. I don't know why. And then the feet move down and up a tad as well. So, articulation, let me gather this dude together here. I would have to go with the Revenge of the Fallen one. There's just more play in the head, and there's a bit more play in the legs as well. So, yeah, Revenge of the Fallen for articulation. Brody here looking like a bionicle with his wanky self. He's got this candy arm claw boy. Got this General Grievous head boy, General Grievous looking head. That wasn't funny. And I think you could pretty much tell by the imagery here which vehicle mode and transformation I much prefer. Animated, the transformation is so simple but clean. And the vehicle mode is so cool looking. Like, just look at that muscle car boy. Is, wait, is that engine, is this piece supposed to be like this? Or I think it's supposed to be like this. But um, yeah, such a clean looking vehicle mode. The black with the green and then like the velvet type windows and then the pipe detailing. Oh! Spectacular, but this thing on the other hand, the transformation is so wonky, like it was with a lot of Revenge of the Fallen figures at that time. Uh, the arms are just a mess, the ball joints pop off so easily, especially on this arm. The gummy plastic on the claw arm and the hand arm makes you feel like you're going to snap it right off, transforming them in place. I just didn't even want to bother wasting my time to transform this thing any further. But yeah. <clears throat> Vehicle mode and transformation, gotta give it to animated. And overall, for everything, I gotta give it to um, animated as well. Because, you know, there's just so much nostalgia with the cartoon. This is where the character was introduced. I, I think this is the best iteration of the character still by far. Blows the movie one out of the water and this chug one out of the water as well. I, and I didn't put the movie one in because it's just such a totally different style and it's based off the movies. And I thought I thought these two could fit together basically pretty well because these are supposed to be like 
sort of like redesigns of each other, which it was pretty cool at the time and still is. So, yeah, got to give it to Animated overall. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys think. If you even have these two figures or if you don't, just throw your two cents in there. Which figure do you prefer from these two lockdowns? And yes... I will catch you guys to clarify because I'm actually talking about the figures and not just the character and their appearances overall, but um, well, that is a little bit of a factor, like I stated, but to clarify, the figure overall, the design is way cleaner, there's not as much loose ball joints, the rubbery plastic getting in the way, the clunky transformation, just overall. While the Revenge of the Fallen one may have some better things like the claw and certain parts of the articulation, overall the animated figure is just a way better toy to mess around with and just to have in your hand, you could just tell the difference in uh, build quality between the two. So yes, I will go with animated between the two. Okay, bye. Bye, bye, bye. Congratulations, you have made it to the end of this video.